Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs with an update of the M-Show video about wire stripping tools. Now I got a recommendation from Jan Borchers from Aachen University for this Knipex tool, the Multistrip 10 or with the number is 1242195. Uh, quite a lot more expensive than the kind of winners um, we had in the first video. It's around 70 euros here in Germany. Anyway, Jan thought that it would be worthwhile just to check this wire stripping tool, an automatic stripper as you can see, and let's compare it to the kind of winners from the last video about that. I'll take fresh ones out of the box to have a fair comparison uh, so that the knives here uh, are really sharp. And uh, th that one here was the Nipex 1262-180 and the real winner was the Vicon number 5. And we'll uh, compare them all with the most difficult things to strip and these are these uh, slippery flat flex cables. Um, so Let's start with some easier one and uh, take every single wire stripper with two actions uh, or two wires and see if they make a good cut. Okay, first one did work. I oh, have to watch out that it's always on camera. Second stripping action. Okay, it worked. So now comes the more cheaper Nipex. Yeah, you see, uh, it did cut, but it didn't strip fully. Might have been because I didn't set uh, here this little thingy here. Let's try it a second time. Yeah, you see, same result. Uh, it cuts and draws the isolation a bit out, but it doesn't do it just as good as the Vicon, uh, which was perfect. Now let's try the more expensive Nipex, which, by the way, has a range. Uh, let's see where it's written from. 0.03, I don't think you can see it very good, 0.03 square millimeters up to 10 square millimeters, while this one here goes from 0.2 up to 6 square millimeters. So the range where it is set to make a good stripping action is much larger. And as a left-handed person, I'll see how I can do it here. So first try. This is really the first strip I do with this and no, it didn't cut or strip anything. Let's try it a second time. Yeah, this time was better. Perhaps the first time it wasn't centered correctly. So once again, okay, that was perfect. So the first was probably my fault. So anyway, this is uh, even at the first try a bit better. Let's try another flat flex cable. Let's start again with the Vicon tool. Yeah, it didn't full it it stripped but it the last millimeter of the isolation was left on so no problem the second time yeah now it was perfect now again uh, by the way uh, one of the viewers commented that this is although nipex is of course a, an oem an original equipment manufacturer uh, this seems to be a rebranded stripping tool from another German manufacturer. So, uh, quite interesting. But anyway, so again we have 
of the effect. Um, the isolation is cut and you can easily draw it out now, but it wasn't really stripped off. And same as the second time. Still, the result is still okay. And now let's see if the multi-strip 10 does it better. This time I'll hold it this way. No, but I think I slipped a little bit by myself. So let's give it a second chance and really center it. No. Third try. No, it doesn't do it. So a mixed result until now. No, also not when I reverse it and hold it a little bit different. So last try with this kind of flat cable. And again, no, I can't get this. No, I don't know what's going on. Do I, am I doing something wrong? Hmm, not sure. Anyway, uh, this test was not passed. Let's take the third one, this colored flat cable. Again, starting with the Vicon. Yeah, again, we have a stripping and the last millimeter here, uh, it was still sitting on the Litz wire. And second time was perfect. So until now, the Vicon passed every test. Now again, the cheaper Nipex. No, doesn't do it. Second try. No. And let's give it a last try. Always with a fresh cable because one, once it doesn't work with one of the, what is it called, the braids? You shouldn't try it again. No. No, no, again, the Wicon was perfect or near perfect. And now the expensive. No, sorry, it doesn't do it. So let's see if there's something left here, any residue. And another try. Sorry if this is quite shaky and no, it doesn't do it. No. So uh, I'm a bit disappointed. At first it looked it was better. And now comes the real acid test. This modular cable is really the worst thing to strip at least what I have available here in the lab. Let's see what the Vicon does. Yeah, again, we have uh, the stripping except for the last millimeter, which can at some times be quite handsome uh, to have it left here, still sitting on the end of the lids. But it made this really good. And second time again, we have the stripping action, you can see, but it is left here, if I draw it, just a few millimeters here left. So I would call this 9 out of 10, uh, if I would give a mark for this. 
And I can do. I think I remember that the Nipex also had problems with this. Let's clean it up a little bit here. So let's set this thingy here a little bit nearer. Yeah, halfway. It did cut, stripped a few millimeters, but not as good as the Vicon. Let's give it a second try. And now it cut, but didn't strip anything. So you have to draw it with your fingernails. So again, the cheaper Nipix is not as good as the Vicon. And now, suspense, suspense. Does the expensive Nipex? I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. They they advertise this year with patented technology, etc. Uh, either I'm I'm not doing it the right way with this thing. Or it isn't as good as advertised. So first time nothing. Yeah, this time it worked. Let's try it again. So it might be that I'm holding it the wrong way. Don't know. No, if I'm holding it this way, nothing happens. So and even if there is a way to make this thing working, if it depends on how you hold it, that's just not good. Well, okay, if I draw it very slowly, it does the job, but it's not intuitive. No, and this time I'll... So I'm really disappointed that this relatively expensive thing doesn't do the job. No. And the last time with a quicker action. No. Sorry. But um, the verdict is just as in the first video. So if I line them up, the Vicon is the cheapest and the best. The more pricey Nipex compared to the Vicon is nearly as good, but not as good. And the worst is the most expensive, the Nipex Multi-Strip 10. Uh, so this time it's not, you get what you pay for, it's the other way around. The most ugly of the three and the cheapest is the best one. So we'll stay here with the Vicon number five. And that was it with a little update uh, with another stripping tool from Nipex. So if you liked it, then uh, please give it a big thumbs up. You can support me on Patreon if you want to. And that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.